<laughs> dude, there was a Khabib, Tony, help me with his last name. I've got focus. Ferguson? Ferguson. Ferguson, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were in an art. Ferguson was talking about street fights, and Khabib like, put a halt. He's like, wait, what? What? Street? You're American. What street fights have you been in? Tell me about your street fights. You're- America doesn't have street fights. I'm from Dagestan. We street fight all the time. And, and Tony, like, he was at a... Like he was stuck. He didn't have any street fights to name. We, and we what, the knockout game. what was he gonna say? Like, oh, but you don't understand. Like sixth grade was kind of rough for me. They met me by the tire swing. No. Yeah, shut up, you furry-headed retard. Is what he should have said, right? Well, you're well, that's why a lot of people like Masvidal. Mas, fuck Masvidal, man. Oh Jesus! I, it didn't start a fire, huh? Uh, yeah, Masvidal. That... Don't get me started on that guy, <laughs> dude. That guy is the biggest fucking poser in MMA. Uh, by the way, please don't come here. He'd kick my ass. But uh, he was all about no trash talk for a decade. For a decade, he was talking. You know, everyone should just shut up and fight, etc. Now he's the biggest smack talker in all of MMA. You know what he's not doing? Fighting. He won a made-up title against Nate Diaz. Badass, but what is he, like 20 and 12, something like that? Nate Diaz yep. loses all the time. And suddenly, he's acting like he's a champion. Who'd he yeah. beat? He beat Darren Till, which is a pretty solid win. Who does? Yeah. He beat Ben yeah, Askren, which is a big question mark. And it was a five-second fight. That's super and, quick. And, yeah. yeah it, it, look, it's a win. It's great. But somehow, it, I don't know what to make of that because that guy didn't have many UFC fights and... It was a five second fight. And then he beat, you know, Nate Diaz, who's loses all the time. I think he's won lost two <laughs> out of his you last. You can say the three. same too but like about Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo and, and I uh, do. the last fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what what he, what he doesn't like any of the fighters that are better better entertaining. Cowboy. He likes <laughs> he his, like any Cowboy his loses. Time. I he like the guys if his if his fighters are very honorable, speak little to no English. <laughs> and, uh, and and don't care for uh, women's rights. That's that's his preferred fact. <laughs> He's talking oh, about me over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Dude, think like anybody the did... Oh yeah, I, I, get I, don't, I don't like think that anybody answer. like goes against like Khabib saying that Kyle his Dice. background is like the. Oh, go ahead. I don't like. I, I, I don't cut like you Khabib. off. That his background is what. That he's just like he's got the most hardcore background out of any fighter out there right now. Like I mean, <laughs> uh, there's as a kid. That's pretty cool. <laughs> And was Dagestan? it is it Crow Cop that was special forces uh, like yes. Spetsnaz or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think Crow Cop's got a more badass background because I've he's, watched he's so killed. many videos of him. I, just I love when he's having that head. that stare down. Is it is it Vanderlei Silva, the axe murderer, when they have that mm-hmm. stare down? And for for your benefit, Taylor, like there's a man known as the axe murderer. All mm-hmm. right, in mixed martial arts, he's hideous. And he's trying to mean mug Crow Cop at the stare down. His mean he's mug just was like, the best in history. Do you want to? And Crow Cop's just like. I have killed many men. <laughs> <laughs> many men. This is more hands. of like a, what you say in America, like side hustle. Exactly. <laughs> like That's what it's like. like. He's like, this is a fight. There's a referee. Do you know how many Rus- how many Afghanis I slaughtered in the 80s? This is my Fuck version of, of gig economy. And you can see the moment where Va- Vanderlei realizes that like, oh shit. There's nothing behind those beady Russian so, eyes that this guy has. I found has. it. Oh, no. I He's found been it. shot at. I want to watch <laughs> this. He's so, been shot. I hope it's like, the like, right he... clip. It starts 14 seconds in. Yeah, I'm uh, 14. I love Mirko this clip. looks like a tall dude. He yeah. is. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Ready, set, play. Silva was the top of the game at this point. And he For is. Sure. He, his stare down, he always does this. He also does this thing with his hands. Pro cop Mirko. Yeah. Something about that doesn't seem cold, to really give a shit at all. Rustin, East, Russian, Eastern European guys who just like stoic. It's cool. It's he's it, picking which side of the head he's going to kick him on right now. <laughs> Wait, was this size? They're following like, him. Yeah, it's like... pride. Oh, okay. Which is the scariest place to do combat? <laughs> Why? Because they <laughs> allow a lot of uh, PEDs. they allow head kicks while you're on the ground. I mean, oh, if you're shit. Bob Sapp, apparently you can fucking pile drive a motherfucker. That they, they, they'll let you do a lot of things there. They have freak fights in Pride. They used to. It's not a thing yeah. anymore. They, it's not a thing anymore, is it? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Pride's they would have thing, freak yeah. fights where they would have giants fight people. Like, like, like in the UFC, there's weight classes, right? So if Conor McGregor weighs 155 pounds, the other guy does too. In Pride, they Bob Sapp would show up weighing. <laughs> 375 pounds, <laughs> not exaggerated. I know. He's His opponent would show up 
225. And he's just like, all right, I guess this is what I – this is it. This well, is it. Let's go. Who's well, the NFL didn't pan out, so this is what I do now. Boy, <laughs> Gracie, Boy Nelson versus Mighty Mouse. Boyce Gracie weighed about 165 pounds. Very skilled Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Sorry. And uh, he went up against a sumo wrestler. The, it was literally like 250 pounds heavier than he was, and he won. Yeah. Yeah, he, I saw that one. Is that where the, the sumo wrestler by the end is just so tired that he's laying on his stomach and the other guy's just like pounding him no, in the head? No, he oh. um, it, you almost couldn't tell why he won. Uh, the sumo wrestler was on top. He had what seemed like a dominant position, and Hoist Gracie was working a wrist lock, and he just bent it, bent it, bent it until the sumo wrestler tapped out. If I recall, yeah. Huh. And if you, if you don't do jits, then like you don't know what's about to break <laughs> you in half and what's just a pain thing. It's like, oh, that's a discomfort thing he's doing to you. That meant that, oh, that hurts real bad. You don't know there's between that and oh, that'll rip your shoulder out. Mm. Oh, you'll never walk again. Tap. Like Dude, you, you Japan the leads the world in fun exhibition fighting matches. Why can't we do things like that? Don't they have a video of them like literally putting a sumo wrestler in there and then like five midgets who know how to fight? <laughs> <laughs> just just to do it? Like that's I've that's seen that awesome. porno. I don't think the uh, Nevada Athletic Commission would approve that. I don't fight. know. I it, this is either something that happened or a funny dream I had. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things. Uh, so. I'm, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna say midgets versus sumo. <laughs> <laughs> 